Brooke Katz with what local health officials want everybody to know about all this tonight. Brooke? And Doug, while the Delta variant still isn't the most prevalent here in North Texas, it is growing and it's one doctors and researchers are watching closely. Looking at the way the Delta variant has accelerated here in the United States in the last three weeks, by fall, this could be the predominant strain at the rate that we're going at. Dr. Nikhil Bayani is an infectious disease specialist with Texas Health Alliance. He says the growing presence of the Delta variant is a reminder about why vaccines are important. It does put pressure on the local governments, the health departments, and of course, people in general need to be aware that this is why we want to get vaccinated. The latest data from researchers at UT Southwestern shows the Alpha or UK variant remains dominant in North Texas, found in about 60% of their sampled individuals. But that is followed by a rise in the Delta variant, now in more than 20% of those sampled. So thus far, we've seen six cases um, in Dallas County. So again, we know it's present, uh, you know, and that's what. It is sort of a race to get as many people vaccinated and slow this down. While not a large number, Dallas County Health and Human Services Director Dr. Philip Wong says it's a concern, especially as restrictions ease and vaccination rates continue to decline. The greatest risk are the people who have not received the vaccine, and so it is at their own peril to, uh, to be going around without masks and things. And Dr. Bayani says he thinks we'll really see this variant take hold in more rural areas that have lower vaccination rates. Doug? Brooke, thank you.